So last week I went to the Web Direction South conference in Sydney and I took some sketch notes. Here's my summary of the entire conference in about five minutes. The first speaker was Rachel Binks, who makes really cool jewellery and does a lot of thinking about online identity. She talked about Trisha Wong's prescribed self and elastic self and used examples like Snapchat and Facebook to illustrate the discrepancy between how we express ourselves online and offline. I really liked her description of changing privacy settings as playing whack-a-mole. She touched on the user engagement death spiral and digital duality and how product owners just need to let it go. All up, it was a pretty good start to the conference. Next up, we had David Demery from Typekit talking about the weight of the web. I learned that the printing industry was actually funded by the church. And this term, the photographic turn, David then talked about how web pages have dimensions and weight that can be measured. And he referenced the special Vogue September issue. David's tips for us to get better at this stuff were to use scalable graphics, responsive design, adaptive content, and iterative workflows. Good stuff. Next was a case study from Rod Farmer about the new 10 Play website. Rod showed us how user-generated content is often more popular than expensive network commission shows like Homeland and brought home the fact that the worlds of TV and web are colliding. He listed some considerations for how to think about engaging a TV audience online and of course, like every other project, had stupid deadlines and competing user and business objectives. But by pulling out some trusted UX techniques, it sounds like they did a pretty good job of repositioning the 10 brand online. So, nice work. The next talk was my favourite talk of the conference from Pascal De Silva, all about animation. It sounds like Pascal found his calling early in life when he watched a ton of cartoons and got to work with a Disney animator where he learned some of the principles of animation. He showed us how animation can make our interfaces more human by showing this sample web app he called Blumbler. He also took iOS 7, Twitter and Facebook to task by calling out some UI faux pas and how he'd go about fixing them. Pascal's parting message was, don't ignore the in-betweens and go learn Adobe After Effects, which is what I'm going to do. Thanks, Pascal. Then we had Marce Chaglovsky. I hope I got that right, Marce. Marce made Pinboard and basically spent his entire talk lampooning the Silicon Valley startup world. His hero is not Anthony Robbins or Tim Ferriss, but the guy who invented the Perl programming language. He showed us just how unnecessarily complicated the startup financing world is, and it was pretty hilarious how he urged everyone to remember that a simple service that you charge money for can be not a lifestyle business, but a life business that's lifestyle changing. It was pretty inspiring, actually. Thanks, Marche. And then we had Relly Annette Baker, everyone's favorite potty-mouthed content strategist. Relly managed to pull together a spooky, ramshackle haunted house, internet fridges, Lego, and Playmobil, and mix it all together to come up with some really solid advice for how to go about creating content so that it's future-proof for parking meters and hot plates and goodness knows whatever else. I think she managed to keep her F-bombs to under seven, which is probably some kind of record, so way to go really, and thanks for all the awesome tips. Next up was Aaron Walter talking about connected UX. Aaron basically spelled out the process that they use at MailChimp for capturing user feedback via emails and support tickets and social media and analytics, and getting the whole team to tag everything in Evernote, which is then OCR'd and searchable. This turned out to be pretty powerful because it meant the whole organization could start to make connections between disparate data that would normally live in silos. And as a result of that, better connections between departments that wouldn't normally go out of their way to chat and share insights. Alex de Champs-Soncino was next. I hope I got that right, Alex. She went all Internet of Things on us and reflected on a bunch of Kickstarter projects that she'd been involved in or knew people behind. She talked about the Fitbit, the little printer, some connected lamps, the ambient umbrella, and how the people of Japan were buying Geiger counters to map radiation levels after the Fukushima meltdown. Alex finished with a call to action to think beyond the web and make the most of these crowdfunding platforms to go create something that's crazy and connected and has a URL. And finally, the closing keynote of the conference came from Heather Gold, and it was more of an interactive unstructured conversation with the audience than a presentation so I didn't try and apply any structure to my sketch here just drew some random imagery as it was discussed 
Heather talked about the fact that technology is actually not a new distraction, that nerds have been distracted by books for years, how she used to be a really competitive basketball player and hurt someone's feelings and fessed up to that and learned from it and grew. And she got a few folks from the audience to talk about what they did and the people challenges that they faced. So that's my five minute summary of the Web Direction South Conference for 2013. I didn't make it to every session, but I hope you like this summary. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. And we publish lots of stuff about sketchnoting and UX design over at uxmastery.com. So if you like this, be sure to head over to our site and sign up for our email newsletter. Thanks.